Yo, what is going on my friends? It's your boy Jada and Trades with Team Bull Trading and I hope you all had a blessed and discipline filled weekend. We are live and back in action with our weekly watch list where I'm going to go over the exact setups I'm watching this week, levels, and all the top stocks that you need to know about. Now, before we get started, we have a few exciting announcements. First off, we want to welcome Danny Trades from Traders Evolve to the Team Bull Trading family. We have officially merged and he will be with Team Bull every single day, Monday through Friday, live trading on voice with screen share for you all. Now, we did this for a few reasons. He brings an element to Team Bull that we've been trying to add more of. Futures, consistent profitability, and helping our members learn. He brings in over 200,000 subscribers from YouTube and almost 160,000 subscribers on Instagram. We can't wait to have you, Danny. And for you guys that have been wanting to check out Team Bull, if you're coming from Traders Evolve, I'm gonna attach a seven day free trial below. So you can come tap in just this week. I will be removing that link tomorrow, Monday, uh, September 30th. So if you're seeing this video late, the link will no longer be there. But if you're seeing it now, it's a free trial below. You can come tap in with Team Bull for an entire week. Check us out now that we have Danny and check out what we do every single day and see why we've remained number one in the world for a while now and we don't plan on going anywhere. So that being said, tap in, hit that subscribe button, and let's get to these levels. Now, for this week, as you can see, we've been on a green tear, made another all-time high this last week. Now, I have one key bounce level on watch this week and it's this 565 area on the weekly chart. You can see we had multiple touches here before failing and eventually breaking over. So it's 564 to 565 area, I'll be watching for a bounce down here, and potentially another move up. That is my only bounce area on the weekly chart. Now let's go over to the daily chart on SPY. You can see it a little more clearly here why I like this zone. Looks pretty solid from a, uh, from a demand perspective. Let's go ahead and put this over here. So anywhere in this area, I'll be looking for a push down and a bounce to find some support for calls. Now, besides that, I don't really have any rejects. I don't like rejecting all-time high. I also don't like trading slow grinds up at all-time highs. So, you know, we had a pretty good week last week inside Team Bull. We've been finding some winners. For myself, I've been trading a little slower, and I want to see us hopefully have a little down movement so we can get away from all-time high before making our way back up. Or, if it goes in my favor, having a nice continued movement down because I love trading the downside. So, that being said, let's go check out QQQ, so see where we're at there. QQQ came up, just about filled this daily gap up to 496 here, as you can see. Had two pretty aggressive moves down after. So in QQQ, I'm gonna watch this 480 area for a bounce. And if we would happen to lose this 480 and 478 right here, I will watch for a continued move down to 475, where I will definitely look for a bounce for this gap fill to the downside. Now, I typically prefer to trade SPY over QQQ. Nonetheless, I think we could see some potential here if we A, come down and bounce, or B, if we break the scat field to the upside, then there's a good chance we see 500, and then all-time highs on QQQ, though we'll need the, set, the semis, NVIDIA, SMCI, et cetera, to cooperate if we wanna see tech make that next leg up. Now, another individual stock I would like to watch this week personally is Tesla. Haven't traded to Tesla much this year, but that could change. We've been on a just an absolute ripper to the upside, and it looks like over this 260 area, if we can hold this, we have a pretty straight shot, straight shot to 271, and over that, over this like 270 area, we have a lot of room to the upside with 280 being here. The next up, 300. I think we see Tesla 300 sooner than you might think. So I'll definitely be watching that. Um, looking for some continued strength on Tesla. Volume looks decent. Week weekly chart looks good. I'll watch for a pullback personally to like 250 area for calls. Let's see how the daily chart looks here. Let's yeah, I'll watch this 250 area for support down here. I think we could see a little pullback down. Then a break above this 260 zone should give us a nice movement up. Hopefully. Now finally, let's check out NVIDIA. NVIDIA, this thing looks like it wants to pop. We've been making higher lows. Right, higher low, higher low, higher low, potential higher low. And if we can break above this 130 area, I still think we can see 140 plus to 150 by the end of the year. 
Go to the weekly chart here. This looks pretty solid. Again, higher lows across the board. If we can break through this flag we're forming here, I think we can see a really nice move up. Just need some volume. Just need some buyers to step in. Need them to get aggressive. I think if we if we see that and if some momentum gets behind them, we can see a really aggressive move up, which should take QQQ with it. So watch list is pretty straightforward this week. Going to trade smart, trade safe. Not the biggest fan of all-time high trading, but hopefully we can find some A-plus setups. I know we'll find something inside Team Bowl we do every single day, every week, and we focus on education first, education always. So trade smart, trade safe, and I look forward to seeing you guys inside Team Bowl trading with us every single day. God bless. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace.